It's like we were never even here. Time to go to Spitz. All right, we've begun our last day in Switzerland. 16K to Spitz, where we'll book a train and head through the Alps to get to Italy. And we're looking forward to the cheaper prices and delicious food that Italy has to offer. We get a little break from the highway and we're gonna detour down into a town. Train station. Perfect. All right, we already got our tickets. We're leaving in an hour on the slow train, and then we transfer and ride a little more, and we're done. Welcome to Doma Dosla. Where we're gonna have a chill first 30k. And then we might have to climb 500 meters in the last 11k to the top of a mountain where our host lives. <laughs> we did not know. First Italian gelato. Uh-huh. Mango and mint. Lots of flavor. Chocolato. Mental or mango? Mm. Menta. Menta. It was an O. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> we are navigating the streets of Domodossola.
Alright, we're just checking this and washrooms. Oh yeah, alright. Okay. I probably will too. So if you wanna water your loved one's flowers, you have to pay. You have to bring your container, then I guess it's free. All right, we're on a bit of a Google journey here. We don't want us to go through here. Explosives. See how that goes. Yeah, we missed. Uh, we missed the ten. Yeah, very slight. Like literally, just right over there. At all. I don't even know if we can get through. So we're basically just trying to bushwhack our way to. The actual trail. Rolling. We're rolling. Yeah, we're on it. Okay. It's it's fine. Yeah. We're riding. It's something. Pretty chompy. I think there's a bridge that we crossed. Yeah, to get over the train. We're getting a little bit of everything down here. Some deep sand. Chunky rocks. Don't know where we're going. But kind of know. Mountain biking trail. <laughs> More like walking trail. It's ridiculous. Welcome to Italy. Getting a little better. Google says we have to cross. Here we go. And you know what I'm not doing is walking through that. Like where, what's happening here? Why does Google think this is a road? Okay, so basically they want us to cross a swamp or a river, swampy river. It's basically uncrossable. And then we don't even know it would be further down. They have us on a hiking path. So we're gonna hike up. Uh, and I think there's a road up here we can join and then maybe somehow find our way. We might just have to go a different way to get there. We might not even get there at this point. It's been 35 minutes. We've done like 2K. So we're gonna see what we get to. A ah, little adventure on day one in Italy. I'm here now. <sighs> so there's the Ciclovilla, Ciclovia del Toce. Toce. So I'm thinking that we should now be going down this route. Uh, I think Google still wants us to go off it, but. it all the way down. There better be a path down here for us. We've hit a roadblock, but Martha doesn't care. Because this road was so long coming down. And it's the way we're supposed to go, so... We're going to assume we can get by, as long as there's not a giant hole somewhere. Okay. You can see this fresh pavement. My phone says it's fine. Martha's phone says the bridge is not crossable up ahead. Maybe going all the way back. grade and I have to pedal and I'm not even doing 20k an hour. Day 12 of 14. Headwinds. Hey.
still an insane headwind. Basically since we left. Like maybe the hardest climb we've done yet to get to this guy's place. Hi, drone. It is all in there. Somehow. Oh, it's on the inside. Yeah. Mine looks like this. <laughs> I can't believe my bike fits in here. Yeah, we did like a kind of Guinness problem. Just feeling well enough to kind of move. We rented a bed and breakfast just down the hall or down the road, half a kilometer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the juicer. You can cut your stuff. Juice it. Coffee unlimited. There's little places to sit. Yogurt. Yogurt. Juice already. Granolas. That was that last night, yeah. And that's what it looks like. Or the latte, so I do latte much better.
couple of days off. We are leaving our little hole. A lovely bed and breakfast. A little more expensive than we thought, but it was necessary. And it was really great. Air conditioning, brand new, super nice. So got all the stuff that needs to go onto the bike. Genese is known as the, uh, or it was the town where umbrellas were bought, brought to be fixed. And so they have all these hanging umbrellas. <clears throat> cool. It's a donkey family. Oh. oh, they're coming to us. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, hey. Hi. Hi. You want some grass? Yeah. Much nicer way down so far. This is Orto Lake. That's Orta. Orta. And yeah, that's Orta. Orta. And the lake. Wow. Look at the church over there. Oh, there's like a big building. I think we go down and up though. What? 
We made it out of Orto. And we're now headed south to wherever we end up today. We don't really know. Should be, if the wind's good, we should have a pretty easy day. And if the wind's bad, then we're gonna have a tougher day. All right. Got ourselves a nice side road. All right, we're headed up a little 12 to 14 percenter. Yeah, we're this high from the lake now. But I think it's time to head down. Yeah. yeah, it's a little gnarly coming down this. This is the highway we opted for. Definitely more busy. All right. Making our way into the Italian countryside. Country road, and then it's a rainbow over there. Where? Oh, there's a rainbow. We just had a light shower, and we're cruising the rice fields of Italy. I did not know they existed. <laughs> Here's one up close. Solero. Solarolo. Solaloro. Solarolo. Some little bunny rabbits. So we're just gonna push in and <laughs> see if we can camp out. Is there? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're gonna go. Look at all the bunnies. Oh yeah, mosquitoes. We were gonna go back there, but it's kind of hard. So we're just gonna go right here. There's a road, but probably a farmer road. And there's the the light is the bar where is that? Yeah. We're going here. 